Boom. Everything should be working. Everything should be there. Let me check the phone. Oh, well. So now I go over here. I go over here. Content. That was, uh, So now, when I go back, live, no, go back, go back over here, channel, live, there it is. Channel, yep. live, there it is. All right, so, what's going on my people? It's your boy Jeff, the Master Barber. We're gonna be using the Ergos we're gonna use the first step all right the first step we're gonna use like a guard number four uh not four uh we're gonna well yeah let's do four just to be in the safe side all right so we're gonna do a fade he's gonna leave the top all right so i'm gonna start removing the top all right we're gonna remove the bulk. When we're gonna, it's called debulking. All right, when you're removing the side, when you're cleaning the side, in the barber world, it's called debulking. Meaning taking all of that long hair. Let me check if the machine is working. Let me see, hello, boom. Let me Jeff, see if it works. Jeff, the master barber. Dice hello. Dice hello. All right. Yep. If you guys want to ask me any question, feel free. I'm, I'm able to listen to comments or, or hear the comments. As you can see, I got a software that I could hear the comments. So anyway, right now he got a lot of hair and this machine, even though it get in it because it's too much hair, it's not the best for the bulk. It still do it. All right. But I just want to show you that don't let nothing stop you. Just because it, it nags or whatever, don't let that stop you, all right? Second step, we're gonna use the guard number three and we're gonna keep debulking, all right? Try to see, like at time, if you see that it's doing that, just use the corner sometimes, you know what I mean? Until you can debulk it. All right, hold on a second. Remind me later. Come on. Come on. All right. So anyway, like I was saying, we're going to pass three. We're going to keep debulking. Pedro Olard. Pedro Olard. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Pedro Olard. Pedro Olard. Dice Jeff Kin. Dice Jeff Kin. I do Q.S. Dines only in English or Spanish too. Jeff, can I do a question only in English or in Spanish too? English, I, I write, this channel is English. I, I'd rather you to do it in English, the question in English, please. Thank you. All right, so still, I'm using guard number three. Even though I start with a four, I just wanted to be in the safe side. So that's why I start with the four, but now I'm going a little higher with the three and it's still maintaining the look that I want. Remember, we just started right now. Don't start judging when we just starting right now, you know? A lot of people got that problem, all right? Now we're gonna use the level. I'm not gonna use the trimmer. I'm just gonna use the level close, right? And notice I'm not gonna do a perfect line because guess what? Eventually that line is gonna be fade in. So don't waste your time doing a perfect line. And don't use a trimmer, because then it will print the line too much. And then to take it out, it's going to be hard. And you're going to see the line printed, all right? We're going to go guard one, level one. We're going to go at least like one inch, right? One inch. And we're going to always, don't forget to brush. When the hair is really short, use a brush. When the hair is really long, then use a comb. Right now, 
This is the third step using guard number one, level close. All right. Now, what I'm going to use is guard number two. I have all my clippers, all my guards on my pocket, so I don't have to be going. And we're going to go on top of it. We're not going to go higher. We're going to be on top of, of that line right there, this line. All right. And we're going to do a C motion. This is the C motion, right? Right there. And we're going to keep it brushing it and we're going to pass it from left to right right to left how many times you want to pass it you know what i mean until you don't how you know that it's not cutting no more when you don't hear the ch -ch -ch. god give you the eyes to see and also the ears to hear so that will be the other sense that let you know if it's grabbing hair when you when you're still hearing that ch -ch -ch, that means that it's still cutting hair all right some people, they just like to switch clip and uh, guards real quick and don't put enough time doing the C motion, the flicking, and be on top of the line. And that's one of the issues, right? Now, we're gonna grab, we're gonna go back to one level open. That's 116. We're gonna pass it right there. Notice the C motion is not gonna be long. It's gonna be, the stroke is gonna be shorter, all right? And it's gonna be on top of the line, right there. All right. Brush it, and whatever you see that that shadow right there, stay right there in the shadow. Right now, you could use the corner just to tackle those little shadows that you see there. Right. See. And remember, yeah, I've been cutting hair for a while. There's other people that just starting. Some people that still uh, in the middle. But regardless, give yourself time to learn. And still, even if you've been cutting hair you, for the longest time, you could still learn from other people, uh, technique and style. So right now, I close the level. So that's one right there, right? And as you can see, I keep passing it, right? I open the level. Now I'm going to use again, and I'm going to pass it right there. I'm going to use the corners of the guard just to grab the basic where the shadow Right there. Now I see some shadow over here. I'm not gonna go with the one, one and a half. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use guard number two, level close, and I'm gonna use the corner again. And that's what I'm gonna be passing right there. Exactly, you see it? If you see it, how you know, Jeffrey, how you know exactly where it is? Because I'm watching at the mirror. The mirror let me know. There's three things in this world that lie, they, they don't lie. Number one, God is not a human that he should lie. Number two, men lie, women lie, but numbers don't lie. And number three, the mirror doesn't lie. The mirror could tell you they got a bug. Uh, you, you probably may have a bug. It could tell you that if you have a bug in the nose, when you look at the mirror, it lets you know that you have a bug, but the, the mirror is not going to take the bug from, for you. The, the mirror is to let you know where is the problem. All right? So now. Now that we got that out of the way, we go back to the one and a half, right? Because I went right there and I see that he was not grabbing. So now we're going to work this one. This one is the 116. This one, the, the smallest guard. And notice the stroke is just going to be even smaller. The open down is going to be smaller. All right. You guys are seeing it. See, and now I open and I'm going to go a little higher and I'm going to use just the corner. So kind of like a guide, right? Then I close it again and I go lower where I see that shadow right there. Once again, I'm looking at the mirror. The mirror is one of the biggest tool and most of you guys don't like to use it. All right. You guys don't like to use the mirror. The mirror is a different perspective. Have you noticed that when you do a, 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 one of the client's hair and you finish him and the minute that he get up from the chair and you look at it, sometimes you'll be like, man, I see a little shadow. I still see a, a little line. You know why is that? Because you only look at it from when you were, where you were cutting a hair from, from the point of where you are to the, to, from here to there. But when you see it from, the mirror, from here to the mirror, it's a, it's a, it's, it's a longer distance. So from, from a longer distance, you can see the whole image. It lets you see the whole everything, the whole image, and you'll be able to see where you could adjust 
All right. So as you can see, boom. Now we're gonna use our, we're gonna use our trimmer. In this case, I'm using the Gamma X Ergo with the Andes uh, GTX Z blade and the modification ECM, all right? As you can see, look at how everything is coming. This doesn't nag this trimmer. When I did the modification, it works really, really, really good, as you could tell, all right? Let me know if you guys could see it. If not, it's all right. I keep over here explaining what I'm doing. So what I like about this trimmer, very silent. There's some other new trimmers out there, but those trimmers, they're really loud. They may be powerful, but they're loud. This one, there is not, I don't have that problem. All right, now we're going. Clean the clients. Don't let the client with that hair like that. Most of you guys like to just, you know what I mean? Now you can see I'm gonna go with the reshore, the Andy reshore. All right, I'm gonna use that this one, and then I'm gonna flip it. I'm gonna use just this foil, so that way the other foil I don't use the two foil because if I use the two foil, it's gonna make it could probably make a line, and you don't want that, right? So now in this area that is open, as you can see, right? Look, you could use both. When you do it like that, you're using both. When you do it, when you flip the, the, the electric shaver, you're using one foil. Remember that. One foil is to go in comfortable for areas that are in comfortables. See, like this area right here. All right. And then using the both other, uh, the other ones, you know what it is. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start using shears over comb. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to over here. We're gonna use the big teeth too, when there's a lot, a lot of hair or a lot of volume to get that blend in even better. And those little hair, we're gonna do shears over comb. The shears that I'm using, the brand is called From, F-R-O-M-M, -M, all right? And this one I think is called the Instinct or something, if I'm not mistaken. But anyway, you can see that it's grabbing and you notice when you do shears over comb, you could, the, the good, what it is good about doing shears over comb, you're able to cut or you're able to pick or control picking what you want to cut, all right? So there we go. That side, that fade is basically done on that side. Now we're going to the back, same scenario. I could start with, a, again, in this case, now that I know three is fine, I'm gonna start with a number three. All right, I'm gonna bring the client's head up so he could help me and then I'm gonna tell him to put his back, hey, there we go. So I could work comfortable, all right? Remember, work smarter, not harder, all right? So right now we're using guard number three, level close, all right? And you notice, that's what I'm de doing, debulking first at top. The client already, he already separated his hair the way he wanted. Uh, he's not gonna get his, his hair at top, he's not gonna cut it, because uh, one, he's, he's letting it grow. The only way that I will cut a little bit, if it's, if it's tip, they will burn, but they don't look burnt. So I'm not gonna cut nothing at the top. Base it on how it looks, right? Usually the client tends to put the head down, make sure just, you know, lift it up, remind you, re kinda like, so that way you go be able to cut the hair, right? Um, but yeah, we're using guard number two now, right? And we go from right to left, left to right, see? And you could still hear level close, this is the level. All right, what I like about the Ergo, 
Jeffrey, what is this? Why you don't use another machine? Because this is my favorite machine, just like you use your favorite machine, right? Uh, I'm not telling you to, to, to get this machine. I'm just letting know why is the reason I use this one. And the reason, simple. One thing that I like the most, the ergonomics. The other thing, 10,000 RPMs. And Pedro Olar. Dice the trimmer, Dice works, the trimmer excellent. works excellent with long hair. Nah, uh, not when you're debulking. Not, not when you're debulking. I don't, re I, don't, I don't recommend you to use the, a trimmer to debulk. Because what you're going to do is you're going to put, you're going to make the, the trimmer uh, strain. Now, you go use the, the new, the latest trimmer, but there's no need to because when you start with a trimmer, what you're going to do is you go, it, it's going to be harder to take out that line. You know, that's why I use the clipper instead of a, instead of a trimmer. You understand what I'm saying? They are close the level. Uh, another thing that I like about this machine is the level. See, there's like five clicks. Each click is a, it's a level two. So just because you don't use, uh, just because you put a guard, that doesn't mean that, and you open it completely and you close it completely, that's not it. Every click represents another level. So, you know, now level close completely, and I'm gonna go a little under the line. This is another, if you notice, I'm doing a second different style how to do fade compared how I started on this side. Just letting you know the different type of doing a fade. There's a billion different ways of doing a fade. Uh, lift it up again, Bailey. And like I said, just because I do it in a certain way, that don't mean do it the way that I do it, right? Do it how you feel comfortable or the way that they teach you and you feel comfortable. Right now we're going with the 116, level close, and we're gonna stay on top of this, this line, right? And we're gonna go, the, like I said, the stroke, the up and down is really short. The bigger the, clock, the, the guard, then you could do the, the motion, the C motion, the like this, then you could do it bigger. But since it's a small clip, the, the motion is like that, that little, right? So there we go. Boom. So we, we, we're staying exactly where I see the shadow. Like I said, I, I opened there maybe two clips. So I know it's not completely open and it's not completely closed. Now I close it because it was not grabbing. And the, what I like about this ergonomic, look at how easy with one hand I could open in my fingertip, I could open the level. I don't have to use two hands. That's why it's called the ergo, the ergonomics, the style, the way how you could easily maneuver or open the level. Now it was not grabbing, so I'm gonna start not completely closed, but semi-open, and I'm gonna stay right where I see the shadow. Remember, if there's hairs that is long, uh, use obviously uh, the comb, but if it's short the hair, use a brush, all right? So now I keep looking at the mirror to see where I see the, dis the defect, right? So now I'm gonna go with the trimmer, all right? And look, this trimmer, I'm not going like this down. I could, but I don't wanna do that because it's just gonna print line. And then to take that line out, it's gonna be difficult. It's, it's not gonna be difficult, but it's gonna take you more time. And then sometimes it gets so printed that no matter if you try to erase it, you can see where you start your line. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't like to do guidelines printing it with a trimmer. That's my opinion. Now we're gonna use a different, I could use the reshore, but just so that way you see, I also have the electric shaver, the FX3, because it's an open area. I'm gonna use the two foils, right? So I could cover more ground. But if I flip it, I'm only using one foil. So I could use it in the areas behind the ear, but in the back, I could flip it back and I'm able to speed up the process. All right, as you can see, all right? There's always gonna be people that don't got patience. They used to, to those videos that I edited and then they, you know, of course, they speed up the, 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 the video and they make, make it look, oh, so much fun and easy and quick to the point. 
But to tell you the truth, my videos, I like to do them more live streaming because it's like the news. When you want to get the latest news, whether it be good or bad, you go to the news, right? You don't go uh, a pre-record a show. It's kind of boring. You want to be with the latest news, right? So that's how I see live streaming. You, you get the letter. If something happened, God forbid, I'm not perfect and I'm not trying to commit an accident when cutting hair, but accidents does happen. But if something happened and I'm doing it live streaming, definitely you're going to see how I'm going to react and what I'm going to do when accident does happen. Or if I cut someone, what, are the, 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 what exactly I'm going to do, what they teach me in school, how to, how to resolve that problem. When right now, YouTube, you got those videos that I pre-recorded, you know, they don't show you when they do accident and they, they, they don't even show you what to do. Oh, they don't even show it. Like I said, they don't even show it. Again, we're going to do exactly how we did with the other side. This time around, different machine. I'm going to use the... We're going to use the Andes no Master. No Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Chosen no coups. Chosen no coups. Dice live streaming, Dice live is, the streaming is the stuff. Yeah. So now... Ch shout out uh <laughs> chosen cut that's right that's right chosen cut uh now i'm gonna use the magnetic guards i'm gonna use guard number two and this one it has if you notice it had the fate master right with the fate master is to me is, i'm used to it i already know how to work with this machine but i'm gonna show you what i like about this machine Still, even though you gotta know at times, Anthony CJ. little by little. Anthony CJ. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Anthony CJ. Anthony CJ. Dice Jeff, you Dice don't, Jeff, you don't, don't debulk around, around the whole head first. Yeah, I debulk first. I do it like that. You do it the way that you wanna do it, your way. I debulk first. I mean, I debulk, but at top, not in the bottom. You understand what I'm saying? I debulk. But I debulk on the top first, not in the bottom. That's my way to do things, right? I use this one more, this machine. I still use it more to do details, not to do fade. Not what I'm doing right now, but I just want to show you that it could be done, that it could be used to, to do a fade or to debulk or whatever. Um, now, watch. I'm going to switch again. Right? Now, I don't like to debulk. The reason is my fades come out much better when I debulk from the top to the bottom. And I leave the last debulk, I do it for, for less. That's my opinion. But if you feel comfortable debulking the bottom all the way around, good for you. Nobody's telling you to Chosen do the no same thing. No Dice, that's good. Dice, that's good. All right, so watch this. Now I'm using guard number one. Notice I didn't even use from guard number, the guard that I used on the other one, it was two. Look, I'm still, I went back with the ergos. I'm now making a hard line. So that way it will be easier. Anthony CJ. Anthony CJ. Dice that and is Dice that and is fake blade, blade is the thinnest blade you can get. Yep. The and this blade is the thinnest fade blade that you could get. Exactly. All right, so now what we're going to do, Tito, dame como 10 minutitos. Está bien. Está bien. Está bien. All right, so like I was saying, uh, now we're going with guard number. I'm gonna go again with the uh, with the three on the ergos because honestly I like more the way this machine debulked than the than the Andes to tell you the truth right so I go again at top and debulk a little bit much better notice how quiet is this machine compared to the Andes but just because uh, I have that machine and it doesn't the job as well as the ergo that doesn't mean that that machine doesn't have a, a purpose yes it still it has a purpose or a use 
I use it completely different. I use it for like when I'm detailing, it's the best machine because of the blade, right? So now I'm going with the guard number two again. And in this area, obviously if you see it, I see it in the mirror. So I don't, I don't act blind and I find the solution. The eyes, the mirror is gonna tell the eyes. The eyes is gonna tell the brain. The brain is gonna tell the conscious to tell you the solution. And then with the solution that you have in your brain, the ready the conscious tell you. And if you have the tools, you're gonna act on it. Don't sleep on it. Don't act blind to it. Don't act like you don't hear your conscious telling you, okay, guard number two. The, then it takes you, if you believe it, you're gonna then do. If you don't believe it, guess you're not gonna do. Simple as that. So it's a, it's a, it's everything is basically by faith. I go now with guard number one, level open, and I'm gonna go right there because I still see the shadow. How I know? Because like I said, my eyes see it, and then it tell the brain, this is what I see, uh, and then the conscious is gonna find, uh, which is the conscience is the Holy Spirit of God, telling you go here do this get that get this tool use this tool so right now the whole the, the spirit is telling me yeah use God number one level open so that's my conscience talking within myself to find a solution and then if you are really believer right and you listen to that positive voice that is telling you grab that okay close the level and you close it and you do it and you put it into practice you're gonna see the results you're gonna see that you're gonna see little by little. He may Anthony take. Siege. Anthony Siege. Dice is that the wall, number, that the wall one number one guard? Yeah, this is the guard number one. Yep, guard number one of the wall. Yep. All right. So now we're gonna go now. Look, without a tremor, and I'm gonna make my next. I'm barely maintain it like like that. Yeah, there you go. Because it makes it a little harder for me <laughs> to keep the flow. All right. Make sure you talk to your client, too. If you keep dropping the head, it, it, sometimes it makes it a little bit more difficult for the, client, uh, for the barber to cut. So, it, you know, just keep the communication with the client. It helps a lot, right? So right there, I didn't use the trimmer. I used the level close with no guard of the machine, right? And then now I'm going with the 116 level close. Right, and you notice that I'm passing it right where I pass the this clipper with no guard level closed. Then I open the level halfway and I'm gonna pass it exactly right there. And I'm gonna go with the flow of how the hair goes. If the hair goes that way, I go against it. If the hair goes up uh, down like that straight, I go up straight, right? Then we go like that again. See the hair kind of, again, it kind of drops in a certain way. I use two of the corners just to do, when I use only the corner is so I don't grab too much of the hair and sacrifice doing uh, whole, the whole, using the whole guard or the whole blade, all right? And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna, with no guard, level close, we're gonna pass it right there, really nice. I'm gonna open the level completely open, and right here I see a little bit of shadow. I don't act like I don't see it. Then I grab my trimmer, I don't waste no time. Pass it around the ears, right? He's gonna, he's not gonna do no sideburns. He's gonna take all the hair from the face in case if someone is like, oh, why well, you didn't do no sideburns? He doesn't do the client. I always pay attention while the client asks me. If he says he wants the hair, sh the face shave, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably give him a suggestion, and but if, 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 if by the suggestion, when I give the, the suggestion, if he still says no, well, uh, the, I, gotta, I gotta listen to what he asked me, right? So, always brush the client's hair. Don't make him feel uncomfortable, right? You gotta make sure that he's comfortable. Again, I'm gonna use a totally different electric shaver the reason why I like the Uno is one foil, easy for areas that are uncomfortable. For, for example, like right here behind the ear, look at how easy it is to maneuver in those areas, right? Another thing, 
Oh, Jeffrey, you made a line. Easy, easy peasy. Level close and top of the line. Lift it up, uh, Bailey. Then I lift it up right there. Uh, uh, I mean, close the, the level and on top of the line, I stay right on it. And then again, if I see some shadows there, I use the corner, boom. And you can see how it's coming, right? Now we're gonna use shears over comb. Shears over comb and still, there's gonna be times that I, I still see some imperfection like right here. So like I say, I, I watch the mirror and then the mirror is gonna let my eyes and then my eyes let, is gonna let the brain and the brain is gonna let my conscience to find a solution. But one thing is to hear it, another thing is to do it. We, you know, everything gotta work in, com in combination. You cannot just hear it and then act like you didn't hear it and do nothing about it, you know? Now, if you hear the solution, you, you pick up the tool that the, the conscience is telling you to get and even though if you are afraid, you still put it to practice. Right here, I see that it's still dark, but the conscience is telling me, get like a number two, guard number two, Let, uh, make sure I put the clip in the back so it doesn't come out, level open, so that's two and a half, and use the corner for that area right there, because I see a little bit of shadow. You see when I, I that that I just said, my conscience, that was the eye, what I saw, the tell my brain and my conscious then tell me that's the solution. So, okay, so I grab the guard number two. I make sure the clip it was attached very well so it, don't, it doesn't come off out of the guard. And then I open the level, that's two and a half. And then he, t he told me use the corner of the, Anthony, of the guard. Anthony Cedra. And Dice what Jeff, I- do Dice Jeff, to perfect, do every, to perfect haircut. every haircut. Thank you, thank you, Anthony. All right, and then now, what I'm gonna do is, still, like, Anthony I'm gonna show C you. Anthony C. Dice that looks Dice good. that looks good. All right, and then those small, those small um, teeth are for like, when the hair is too low, that's, 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 that's the, the teeth, right? But if you got long hair, like right here, then you use the bigger teeth. See the big teeth? All right. Right there. And then we still, right here, we're gonna go shears over comb, still, right? And we're gonna go right there, right? Still, we're gonna try to blend in a little bit more, get that shadow out, those little hair, right? Now that we got that, we're gonna do the box out, all right? How I like to do my box out. Before that, this is Abraham Quezada. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my channel. Abraham Quezada. Dice Buenos Tards Jeffrey Saludos Desdi Panam. All right, and this is the a spray, the spray hole, right? And now what I like to do, I like to, hold on a second, watch this. So now what I like to do is put the hand so that way no spray gets into his eye, right? And then throw a little bit exactly in the, in the way you're gonna be doing the line. Now what you want to grab is the blow dry and you don't have to put you don't have to put uh, the heat on it because the hairspray it dries so quick specifically that one the tres messe is gonna dry it up so boom now we're gonna start from the middle we're gonna use the trimmer of your choice in my case I'm gonna use the on the T aligner, I'm gonna start from the middle, right? And I'm gonna work my way little by little to the side. I don't care if it doesn't cut right away. I keep little by little and keep everything really outside, right? Then later on with the blade, I will make, I'm, I'm gonna be able to give more form to it. All right, check it out. Then the C motion, I use the corner to kind of draw the C, the C cup or the, or the circle or, or the fender, whatever you call it, right? Then I go to this side. Again, we go right here from where we left up, the middle, 
Abraham Quezada. And we're going to work all the way you are the best. into the other side. This particular client, he wants two lines. One that goes right here and the other one in the other side, right? So, not yet. First, I'm working on my box out. All right? And then now you're going to see how little by little the box out is start appearing. I don't care. Once again, I don't care if my trimmer is zero gap. If your trimmer cuts better than my trimmer, I don't care about none of that. I care about what works for me and that at least it cuts what I want and, and when I want it. All right. Now, what I'm going to do is, like I said, he wants the, the two lines. Right, Bailey? You want the two lines coming from right there and then the other side? Yeah. All right. That's based on what the clients want. Now, it's not what I want. It's what the client wants. So here we go. We're going to make the line right there. Because that's where he wants the line. And he wanted to go exactly where the division of the hair where it is. All right. And then we're going to go right. We're going to pass different angle of the trimmer. Even at time, if it doesn't grab it, you got no solution. Look, you could get that with the, with the shears and get that out. Now... What I wanted to do too is if I see that the hair is covering the line too much, I go with the shears over comb and I bring down the volume in there, right? And you can see that I'm doing it right there. This is not edited. This is this video is not edited. This is live. I could make any accident, but it's not uh, what I want to do right now. I'm very confident what I do and what I'm doing. So now, so I don't lose time, I'm gonna use my blade of choice. In this case, I'm gonna be using the Wilkinson. I'm gonna put a little bit of cream, Day. or shaving Welcome cream in channel. the line, where I'm Day. gonna be passing the Dice blade. The endo, a quarter All right. on Let me see if the other Solidus. side grab it more than this side. No, the other side grab it more. All right, so we're going to stick with this angle. And as you can see, we're going to go right there. Yeah. Right there. Keep everything really nice and tight. All right. Use the comb to clean everything that you see. Look, in the front, there's something that is covering those lines. Boom. Then we go back again. Another tip, pro tip, don't make the line too thick. You could begin the, top, the, the the beginning, it could be a little bit thicker, but when you finish, finish the, 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 at the end of the line, thin, not thick, all right? That's my advice. That's one line in that side. Let's go to the other side to do the other line. He wants another line exactly that comes through here, all right? So how are we going to do it? Again, like why we did the other one. In this case, I'm going to use this trimmer, the Ergos, with the Andes uh, GTX, right? The, the blade that I'm using is the GTX, all right, the Z. So now what I'm doing again, notice, I'm going to kind of make the shape this right here one more time, and I'm going to make a little bit open the, the beginning kind of thick, but then I'm going to kind of leave this, the line, to finish thin at the end. Again, if I see that the hair right here, this area right here is too dark and it's covering the line or it's taken away from the line, I do shears of a comb or you could use the machine. In my case, I like to use shears of a comb instead. Like I say, why? Because I have better, more control. I have better control. All right. And you can see little by little, it's going to take shape. Again, we're going to grab a little bit of the shaving cream. And we're gonna put it in the areas where we're gonna use the blade. And we're gonna get do that. It's not a sign. Don't spend hours doing something. I like to use the beginning of the of the blade to kind of have like to really grab the hair more. Alright. And I don't even make I don't pressure it. I just leave it 
you know, kind of put, put it there. That's it. Not even trying to make pressure because if you make too much pressure, what you're going to end up doing is cutting him. And you don't want to cut him. You know what I mean? You just want to do the nice haircut and that's it. And that's the problem. Don't, you know, I cannot tell you don't be nervous because, yeah, the nerves sometimes, it, uh, they, they show up. If you can't really have the control when you are nervous, step back, relax, keep working, do, keep doing another stuff. Go shave or do, do the eyebrows. And then when you are less nervous, then you finish doing the part that you couldn't finish earlier, right? So here we go. Now I'm going to put him laying down. I'm going to do his eyebrows. You're going to say the mustache and everything too? The goatee and the face, you're gonna shave everything? Oh uh, no, just the, Shape uh, it up the mustache? Yeah. Shape it up the mustache. All right, that's our consultation. You see, I didn't assume that he wanted to cut his must, uh, shave everything. So I was like, you gonna shave everything? And he's like, no, no, just, and he was trying to tell me what he want. So I was like, oh, the mustache, you want me to shape it up? And he said, yes. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna, Ah, if I was him, I'd shave it up. Nah, it's not what you want. It's not what you think that looks good uh, on, on him. It's just you got to follow what he wants, all right? I'm going to use the chest cam so that way I could give you another angle, all right? Yes, I have six, seven different angles, seven different cameras, so that way you could see it from different perspective, all right? So I'm gonna put this right here. I'm gonna empty my pockets. I'm gonna put the, uh, okay, so this one, the battery, I think is dead, if I'm not mistaken. And it is, it is dead. So I'm gonna put the other battery. Let me check what's the other battery right here. Let me see if this one, and then now it's on. Then I'm going to put this camera in my chest. I'm going to turn it on. I'm going to wait until the signal come on. Checking, checking. Let me see. Uh, not waiting for the... Uh, did I put the other one? I haven't put this one yet. So I got to make sure that it's grabbing the info. It's still grabbing, grabbing the info, grabbing the info. Wait a minute, hold on a second. Um, I forgot to turn it in, the receiver, to send a signal to the receiver so that way I could use the camera wireless. All right, the camera that I'm using is the Sony RX-02. It costs $700 and then the receiver, there we go. So now when I turn in right here, now you'll be able to see, you see? Different angle, we're gonna focus right there. Actually, let me go the other way. Uh, let me set it up. Let me take this off. Hold on a second. Let me bring it the other way around. Right there. And then let me tight the screw. Let me put this right here. Let me turn it on. Let me switch the model because... Uh, let me see, bring it back. All right, it's too, let me put more light into it. Uh, it's too dark, so let me bring it, I wanna say, yeah, right there. Let me see what this angle right here. Is it too bright? Yeah, it's too bright. So let me bring it right there, okay? Let me bring it a little bit up. Not too much, right there. And then, all right, Bailey, could you pull a little bit more back? More back, more back, more back, more back, a little bit more. So that way, yeah, like that, there you go. Perfect, brother. You're the best. Thank you. Of All right. And then, now we're gonna grab another blade, right? And we're gonna go back and we're gonna do our box out. Remember when I tell you, I don't care if my machines are zero gap. I don't care if my machines are zero gap because I don't wanna irritate or cut the client's hair. I mean, or cut the, the skin or irritate the skin of the client. So what I like to do 
in order to get it more detailed and more sharper, that's right, I use the blade. In this case, I use the blade. And you can see that I'm going to get all the definitions that I want, but without trying with the, without the, with the, the trimmer. You guys expect with the trimmer to do everything that the trimmer is. The trimmer is just to clean and to shape only a little bit, not to do the blades work. You understand, you understand, you understand what I'm saying? So now where I'm gonna make my shape up stand out is with the blade. So why trying to force something with the trimmer when with the blade is what I, is gonna, I'm gonna use and I'm gonna be more effective and I'm not gonna irritate or, or damage or irritate the client's skin. You understand what I'm saying? Same thing, look. Now, pass it over a couple of times too. Always stretch the skin, it's very important, right? It's always very important to stretch. You see this finger? Boom, right? And then, right there. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a little bit of cream, shaving cream in the eyebrows and in the mustache where he want me to do, he's, he want everything else shaved. So I'm gonna put a little bit of shaving cream. The cream that I'm using is the Bone Pro. It's medicated, it has aloe vera and aloe. And if you guys didn't know the aloe and the ole aloe vera, I'm, uh, it, it protects the skin from irritation, if you didn't know. Now I'm gonna put the paper where I'm gonna wipe my blade in the chest. Now we're gonna go back again to do the eyebrows. Now that I put a little bit, let me focus the camera. Now that it's focused, let's start shaping it, right? And remember, it's not how it start, it's how it's finished. A lot of people don't gosh, you're gonna see it by the numbers. When I start earlier, there were a few people, right? The minute that they, they saw that it, it was live streaming and it was not going into the path, they were so impatient, they left the channel, right? They left. Now, they, they seeing that the work is almost done. Now they're stuck here and they're watching the channel, right? And they expect that they're gonna learn when they wanna see the, the job done. Now, in order to learn, you gotta stuck to the whole process. You cannot skip, you cannot skip the process. You cannot skip the steps. If you skip each little step, whether it be important or no important, then you're going to wonder why you But there's going to be one time that whether you he got a pimple and, and you passed the blade and you didn't see it, it's going to start bleeding. What are you going to do in that situation? But because you your favorite celebrity YouTuber did that seven minute video edit it and show you the same thing put in some music and, and, and telling you, I'm gonna use car number one, and that's it. And not info, he didn't show you the, what to do in the other, when something happened, you know? That's what happened. You guys are used to, to those bubble gum tutorials. I'm not saying, you know, if you, if this, this audience for everyone. But me, I'm a, live, I'm a different kind of breed. I like to do stuff a, a lot different. I want to make sure that you learn, that you definitely grasp. If not learn, at least understand the concept that there's more than just buying clippers and just doing a fade. There's more than that. Look, so stretch the skin, right? Look, his, fa his ha uh, facial hair, it, he don't got the, the thick hair, so it's easy to shave, right? And plus, I already put the, the shaving cream that protect the skin. Like I say, it has aloe vera. And for those that I wonder what, what the aloe vera means, the ones that they were here and didn't skip not even one second, please tell them what aloe vera of olive oil does for the skin. All right? So now you see how everything is taking shape Little by little. Now we're going to do the mustache. Always you're going to feel the blade that at one point doesn't want to cut. Don't be cheap. Spend some blade. Spend some money on your craft. 
you know, don't wait until the client tell you, ah, he's hurting me. All right. So now we're going to go and we're going to go right here. We're going to focus the camera. I'm going to tell Bailey, Bailey, go like this. Right. And then when he does that, look, I didn't even use the trimmer to shape the, to shape the mustache. And with the, with the blade, I'm going to do the mustache. You see that? There's no need to, to pass a zero gap trimmer when there's actually his hair are really baby hairs. You understand what I'm saying? Oh, why are you shaving his goatee? Because if you didn't left to, to another channel and you had patient, you, you would have saw that he said, yeah, shave the goatee, shave the whole beard and the hairs that I got in the face, but don't shave my mustache, shape it up, the mustache. So that's why I took the goatee. The All right. Welcome to my channel. The poor barber. So now we're going to go the other side and shake the other side of, of the mustache. There's no rush. And I'm doing it little by little. Right? Little by little. You could tell. Look at how the mustache is coming. Then you go in this area upside down. Same thing over here. All right? Then you're going to go over here. And you're going to go in the bottom. After you shave from top to bottom, now you can go from bottom to top. That's the easiest way not to irritate the client's, the, the client's skin or in general. All right? So now we're still shaving everything. Uh, we got go back over here. All right? And we're going to continue shaving all that right there. And you see it in front. Look at how everything is looking. Let me put a little bit more light. Hold on a second. Oh, the other way. I think right there. Boom. You see it. Look. You want it more close? Right there. You see it. Can you see? See what I'm saying? Now let me put it back right here. Boom. You see what I'm saying? Hold on. Back. See what I'm saying? Look. That's not. This is not pain. Look at how nice that transition of the face. That's not pain. That's no airbrush. That's all natural. You understand what I'm saying? Now we go up. Now. <laughs> then we're going to take behind the, the cape. We're going to take the cape. And now just because I take the cape, that doesn't mean it's over. Now, now we go the little details. I'm going to wipe them up with the brush, this brush, right? And I'm going to wipe all the hair. That's step one. Step two, let me take this camera from the, set it up Anthony so the battery don't get waste. So that way when I do the next life, it still have it. Then I put guard 116 and one in my, in my left pocket, guard number two and three on my right pocket. So that way I don't have to be go back for wasting time looking for guards. You want to be the fastest? That's how you're going to be the fastest. All right. So here we go again. Now we go to the final details. All right. The final details are to just basically go again with the blade and try to just get it more sharper. And then go in the top of the eyebrow, pass it in one more time. Pass it one more time. And then in the lines, go ahead, pass it one more time. And then if you see something on the side on the fade that, that kind of is bogging you, like right here, then I go with the zero. And if it's bogging me, let me get a little more detail. Boom. All right, let me go to the other side. All right, let me check over here. Let me pass the blade again. All right right there let me go again in top of the line one more time lightly all right now we go and we're gonna pass it in top of the the eyebrow one more time all right then if there's some little hairs that are left over i'll go again again if there's something that he that he pulls my hair that he is pulling my eye to kind of fix i don't act like i don't see it so in this case, with the no guard, using the corners, I'm doing the final details. 
close the level. If I see some hair standing, then pass it. Then I go to the back and right behind where the cape was on, when you take it off, there's hair there. You know, even the simplest may, may, may not be important to you, but it may be important maybe to his girl, to his wife, to his mother, or to his friend that they're gonna be checking him. Now, I'm gonna be putting the aftershave, right, in a napkin. I'm not gonna throw it like most of you guys do. You guys put it in like that. You, you guys be like, shh, shh, shh. and then they start screaming like Bruce Lee. Ah! And then with this, with a little bit of air, it's gonna make it more comfortable experience for the client. It's not gonna burn that much and he's gonna wipe all his, his, his hair or any hair that is stuck in his face. Another thing, you guys don't like to show the mirror and if you guys show the mirror, you guys show it really quick. Like you're scared for, for him to see it. You guys do this. Come on, man. Just show him everything step by step, real little, real slow. And show the lines, show the details, show the fade really nice, what you did. If there's anything that he don't like, I want him to tell me right here, right now. I don't want him to go to his house and then come back to the barbershop and be like, ah. Oh. So I'm showing and I'm going to show the mustache right there. So somehow I did the eyebrows. And then I'm going to ask him, Bailey, how's everything right there? Okay. Jeffrey, what he say? It's good. That's the only matter. KX5 G9 That's the only the, the only quick uh, opinion that matters. KX5 the G9 All right. So now, even when I even take his K, I take it with a style so it doesn't fall all the hair in his cape. You guys sometimes take it and, and it falls on him. You gotta know how to take the cape too. All right. So I got the other one. Waiting outside, I'm gonna tell him to come in. In the meantime, let me sweep this up real quick. He's outside waiting until he comes up, comes in. Let me uh, the forty. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, got you, got you. Thank you, my man. Keep in touch, Feli. Don't be. All right. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, I already test them, but still tell them just in case if it didn't. Right. Yeah, good looking, Bailey. All right. So, Tito. Yeah, the, 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 he came a little late. That, that's why he backed me up. <laughs> oh. That's what I tell everybody. Make sure you're here early because then he's going to back me up with the other one. You know what I mean? So, I, I was trying at the same time. How you been, Tito? That's what's up. Oh, by the grace of God, everything good. I can't complain, man. Everything is going well. You know, you gotta be grateful. That's the key. That's the key. What are we gonna do? The same? Same thing? Same as always. Same, same old, same old? Same as always. You don't mind if I do light streaming cutting hair with you? Or? No, that's fine. You sure? Yeah. All right. So. All right, so I got the cameras there. Let's check it out, check it out. There's Tito. Has Tito been getting a haircut with me for how long, Tito, already? <laughs> 12 years? Yeah, like 12 years. So Tito, Tito has been with me some quite a time. All right, I, as you notice, first rule consultation that's the number one well number second first is put in the cape right put in the cape for those we put the cape second when he sit down i ask him like tito you're gonna do get the same he's like yeah same as usual unless i ask him even though i've been cutting his hair for 12 years tito could tell you that i always ask him tito you're gonna get the same because you don't want to assume that he's going to be doing the same thing all the time. So that's the second step, consultation. 
third step, always clean and disinfect your machines. All right, no matter if you already did, do it again, just to be in the safe side. All right, now, what is that he's gonna get? This is the ergo, level close, I mean level op close with the guard 116 all around his head. And then the beer, I'm gonna bring it down with the half, no guard, level open. I'm gonna do all his beer and I'm, I'm gonna shape it out really outside natural. He shaved his master and you do your eyebrows too, right Tito? And he's in his eyebrow. He's gonna do his eyebrow. So once again, there it goes. The 116 level close. That's the first step, right? It's simple, but just because it's simple, that doesn't mean don't uh, don't do it with the same passion. Do it with the don't do it with with least passion. If anything, still do it with more passion. Every haircut, whether it be something simple. Or something difficult, always put you a thousand percent, not a hundred, a thousand. Uh, I know people is like, ah, I could do that with my eyes closed. Good for you. But what makes everybody different than other is the quality of work, the quality of time that you put, the effort that you put on each haircut, on each client. You know, treat, through, treat every client like how you want to be treated. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I put myself, like, if I was Tito, I'm like, man, I want my hair, everything to be this on point, legit. You know what I mean? Another thing that me and Tito, we got in common, we like the pets. <laughs> <laughs> and more when Brady was here, but no more longer. Brady's no more longer here. We're but fast and more than ever. <laughs> now we, yeah. But, yeah, Tito's been getting a haircut with me for, for 12 years, if not more. Um, but yeah, it's been a, a good journey. Uh, I like Tito also brought me his his brother, his dad. I cut his dad, his his brother too. Um, and yeah, uh, with him right now, right? I'm not hearing the comments or watching the comments because I'm actually going with a pace right now. I got the next one, the next client at three, and I don't want to keep running late, so. Um, another thing, sometimes I'm going to be going nuts out of subject, not just on a haircut, but it's still related with the barbershop. Make sure you, you know, you have a, a schedule or, or get an app to book your, your client. Don't wait for the last minute or be the barber just to sit down in the chair and waiting until they come to you. Nah. No. You make sure you, every time you cut somebody's hair, give them the number, get the number, and don't call them, but send them a test message. Hey, these are the times and the days that I have available, because that will keep them, you know, you, you, he probably don't even thinking about to get a haircut, but let's say there's something come up in his schedule that he had to be, he's going on a date or, or he's going to a party or, or his job want him to be nice and clean and you send him a test, then not sending one, guess what? You know what I mean? That says a lot about you, how much you care about uh, his look and also how much you care about your general income, to be honest, because at the end of the day too, you know, it's beneficial for him and it's beneficial for you. For example, I wasn't even planning on doing it until you showed me a text, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going <laughs> Just, I'm like, hell yeah, so I'm free. You free? I need to get it done. So uh, what Tito is saying right now, I had uh, one spot left, and I sent him a, a test message. Hey, uh, Tito, I have one spot open today at 2 o'clock. You want it? And he was not even thinking to get a haircut. He said, oh, yeah, hell yeah, I need a haircut. And you see? Just by sending a simple, uh, sending a, a simple test, the, the, if he wants a, I got an open spot, do you want it? He was not thinking to get a haircut, but just the fact that I said that I have an open spot, he was like, actually, hell yeah, I need a haircut. You see what I'm saying? So don't wait for the client to show up to the barbershop. Because sometimes they're not going to show up unless if you, if you let them know what you got open. So, you know, maintain yourself busy with a schedule, doing up, do always the appointment, 
doing a scale, yo, send them a test. Never call them, just test them. Hey, just to let you know, just, just for your information, FY, FY, what is that you guys say? FYI, for your information, uh, send them a test that says that, say, hey, I have these times open, just in case, and this time, and you never know. You're gonna have more chances like that than you being sit sitting around in your chair, right? Uh, so yeah, as you can see, just because I'm talking, it's simple. There's no, no, no um, brains to this. I'm passing 116 all over the hair, right? There's not a sign, but what I'm doing, the, I'm, I'm doing is by section. I'm going little by little, section by section, and I'm passing and I'm brushing this everything really, really nice. I make sure because there's some climb that uh, the hair that gets stuck to the skull after you cut it. So, you know, just make sure you brush it, you know? Other than that, yes, it's not a sign. I know probably you little kid, your brother, even your wife could do this, what I'm doing right now. But just because she could do it or he could do it, your little kid, that doesn't mean like I said before. There's a reason why I go to you. Yeah, he said there's a reason why. I, yeah, if it's simple, it would go everybody else. But there's a, it's a reason. It's more. He Tito said that it's what. TRQ on It's more gu warranty. Welcome to guarantee, my channel. Guarantee. Uh, guarantee. <laughs> it's more guarantee. You see what I'm saying? So um. You know that's the client speaking. I I don't want to sound conceited. I don't want to sound arrogant. But what I'm doing is doing the best to my ability and do it with all my might, whether it be a simple haircut to a difficult, difficult haircut. See, I go little section by section. I'm not rushing it. Maybe the perception of each of you guys, when you see seeing it, one is going to say, now you're doing it fast. Another perception of another guy is going to be, you're doing it too slow. Uh, you're taking too much time. Regardless of whatever perception it is that you guys have, the only one that matters is the client. You got my hair memorized. <laughs> I got my, uh, he said that I got his hair memorized. I already know everything, how to do it to the way that he like it, right? And yes, another thing that you guys like to do that I don't recommend you guys to do is whether you use, uh, I got the, I got the Styles Craft Instinct machine. You should get that one, Jeff. Don't tell me what should, what should I get. If, if I, unless if I tell you what machine should I get, then you tell me, oh, yeah, yeah, Jeff, get the Gamma Instinct. You guys got the problem to tell everybody, nah, get this machine. You got to get this one. The one that Jeff is using is, 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 is bullshit. It's crap. I don't, I don't like it. Stop doing that. Because in the first place, if it was bullshit and crap, this machine, I would not be using it. So if I'm using it, it's because it's working for me. I have the Ergos, I have the, the, the Mythic, I got the Gammas, the Mythic, and I have the Masters, I have the Low Pros, and guess what? Those are the latest machine, and I'm sure there's new ones out there, but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna go crazy buying it, and just because you told me buy it, no. I'm working with what I, I why it works for me. Another thing, you guys, when you guys cut somebody's hair, whether it be a lot of hair or no hair, make sure you wipe them up. You know how annoying it is to have that hair cut, that hair in your face? It's annoying. So make sure, when, Tito, how do I feel when I wipe you up all the hair from your face? It's comfortable, right? Dice yeah, you know, you feel favorite. chilling. You, you, the client is not going to be eating himself and moving. And that's one thing that you guys, as a barber that we hate, is a client that be moving, right? You don't want to be client, a client that be moving for no reason. So in order to evitate that problem, make sure you use the blow dryer or the compressor or whatever. But back what I was saying, unless if I ask you, Jeff, use this, uh, unless if I ask you, what machine should I use? Then you tell me, oh, Jeff, you should try the Gamma Myth or the Instinct. Ramirez. Oh, you should try Guys, hello, oh, the Ulster. But listen, we got to be grateful. You know what is the best machine for you? It's the one that it works for you. It's not the one that works for me. Or the one that you think that because it's gold 
oh no, you don't understand it, Jeffrey. Babyliss is the number one company. You may think that, and that's your opinion. The clients don't care about the client. <laughs> that, that's another thing. The client really don't, uh, there's some clients that they don't even care about what machine, they don't even know what machine you're using in reality. I don't know what using right now. He, he was gonna, he said, he, my client just told me that. To tell you the truth, I was, I didn't, I was gonna tell you what, what, you, what you're using right now. Ramirez. He didn't care in, in reality. Thanks, folded hands for but anyway, look, back to the subject. In his case, he have the hair short, so I'm not gonna waste time with the trimmer. So what I'm doing, I'm putting the shaving cream right away where I'm gonna be using the blade. I'm not gonna waste time on using the trimmer, right? I'm gonna use just the blade. And then I'm gonna put a napkin where I'm gonna wipe my blade, right? And notice how I keep my station organized as I work. That's how I like to keep it, nice and simple. That sometimes less is more, right? The less tool, the less stuff, the less mess, the more comfortable you work, the, the faster you work, because you know where everything it is, right? When you have a workflow, you work much comfortable, much faster. All right, so now, which, Wilkinson, which blade I'm using? Wilkinson. While the blade I like, Dorco. Now don't tell me, no, Jeff, have you tried the Derbies? I try all of them, all right? And the ones that I like are those, all right? You like the Derbies? Congratulations, I'm happy for you. That's what works for you. But don't tell me, oh, you gotta try the derbies. Oh, you gotta try this one. I do it when, when I feel that this blaze that I'm using is not working for me, all right? Same thing, the more you do that, the more barber, barber friends and more friends you're gonna have. There's one thing that I hate is people telling me, yo, you gotta get this one, you gotta try this one. I'm not like that. I like to do it, everything on my own and experience everything on my own. Unless if I ask you, then it's a different story. All right, so here, as you notice, I'm using the blade to shape, to do his shape up. I'm not even using, uh, I'm not using the trimmer or anything, all right? But everybody got, once again, they own, you want to know, Jeffrey, I would have used the trimmer. Congratulations also. Keep doing it the way you think is, is best for you. I'm not telling you not to do it. I'm not telling you to do it my, my way. I'm just saying how it works for me. If you never try this, perhaps this method right here before, and it looks curious to you that I'm not using the trimmer, and yet I'm doing the shaper right away, and you give it a try, probably you're gonna come to the conclusion that you're saving more time not using a trimmer. Second, that you're gonna, not gonna irritate um, trying to shape something that the hair is so low or so, you know, so close to the skin, and you're gonna save mo much time. You understand? But sometimes those conclusions doesn't come to you unless if you try, right? So, you know, sometimes nobody learn unless if you go through your own trials and tribulation, or, or, or in, if you don't, there's a saying, I think it was Einstein that said this saying, this, this quote, don't expect different result by keep, by keep doing the same thing. If you're doing the same thing and expect different result, it's not gonna happen. You have to be able to Try t stuff differently, experiment. Be willing to, Those, that's my phone. I got some Dobermans, some pit bulls for my rental. <laughs> All right, so hold on a second, I'll, I'll wait until. That number, it says unavailable, I'm unavailable too. <laughs> okay, so now, like I say, be willing to try it. If you see something from another barber, be willing to, like, if, if he kind of be like, man, I like the way he's doing that. I like to do, and, and you mind is telling you, I want to try that for my next. I'm not going to use the trimmer next time. 
for whatever reason, it seems like it's saving time and it's coming, if not the same, much better and I'm not wasting time. And that's one thing to what you're thinking or that you want to do and not doing it. Be willing that whatever you're thinking to also put it into practice. The only way to know if it's going to work is when you put it into practice. All right? All right. So check it out. We shape it up. It may not look right now, but later on when I recline them and I go back again with the blade, we're going to get the shaper even more sharper. Now what we're going to do now, we're going to take the guard and now we're going to use dub fusion, level open, and now we're going to do with half everything. He's going to, you said take the massage, right? Yep. Do the eyebrow, right? All right. That's why the client wants. That's the consultation. Make sure you do what the client asks you. Remember, I hear, I hear most of you guys saying, especially uh, rookies, oh, what I, like, what I like about this profession, that I'm my own boss, and I laugh. That's what you think, that you your own boss? That's what you think? Oh, so you pay yourself? Is that what it is? Let me tell you, let me bust the bubble for you. Every, every person that you s sit in your chair and you cut in, it's, it's your boss. It's the one that is paying you for a service. So if that, if that client, when you give the consultation, what is a consultation? When you ask him, what kind of haircut you gonna get? And if he tell you, well, I want the, the, one, uh, the 116, the beer, the one and a half, take the master and do the eyebrow. You'll be like, okay, um, after that, you could give him a suggestion. I think it would look better if you leave the mustache and don't touch the eyebrow because your eyebrows look like, you know, an example. Then after, if he hears that and he says, okay, do that, then you do that. But don't assume that you're going to, whatever looks good, you're going to do. That's going to be crying out. Do whatever you want, what you want from, do whatever you think it looks good to me. When, when that happens, then you do whatever you think it is. I think they're still crazy because what about if I tell you, oh, why don't you cut all your hair? He got probably nice hair and, and I cut it all bald. <laughs> you tell me, do whatever, I, I, whatever looks good to me, right? Sometimes whatever looks, what looks good to me is not actually what the client is what it wants. You know what I mean? But because they don't know how to communicate sometimes uh, that, that's where the, the problem end up happening. But anyway, so right here, don't forget to always ask consultation. What's consultation? To ask what he's gonna get. And then after that he tell you what he's gonna get, you could give him a suggestion. Okay, this is what I think. And you, trust me, that little bit of stuff goes all along. Jeffrey, how come you're not explaining the, the step? Because this is easy. I'm, I'm not doing nothing special. I'm just, I'm just bringing the hair down right now so in the mean in the meanwhile i'm giving you some other different jewels i'm giving you some good information more than just bringing the hair down all right so i'm just giving you some really good information that if you put it into practice you're gonna be like man that actually served me more better i didn't know and i did that what you told me jeff and you know it ended up working more than what i already knew how to bring cut the hair down or do a fade or do a lineup it's not just, mo most of you guys just go by the same cycle. Talk about machine, talk about the fade, talk about the blade, talk about the same machine, the same thing over and over and over. And, and we stuck in the same cycle, you know, and don't learn nothing different. All right, check it out. So now, like I said, he's gonna, he want the mustache off, all right? That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take all that, and we're gonna ride there really quick. And then, one, one, one thing that I always say, wipe the client off. It's something that is really annoying, having all that hair in the face, it's annoying to me. Always disinfect the machines. No matter if you already disinfect it, double do it, double, double do it again. Whatever many times that, you, that, that it is needful, all right? Um, my, I know my English is not the best, right? But who cares, right? Because 
I'm practicing. That's why I'm building this channel. I have another channel in Spanish. It's called Jeffrey El Barbero Master, which it has 152,000 subscribers. So yeah, um, I'm doing this one, and I'm not doing just to gain more subscribers or anything. Nah, it's not that. I wanna, I wanna practice my English. I wanna to have no, at least to get the least accent, which is not gonna happen because I've been trying for a couple of years. But I keep trying. In the meanwhile, I keep trying. So, with that said and done, now we're going for my favorite part. We're gonna shape his beard also without a trimmer. Just for the people, ah, oh, Jeffrey, I don't have a trimmer. What can I use? You have a blade? So if you have a blade, you could definitely shape it up too. It's gonna be a little harder uh, and more if it's long, but it's still doable you could still do it see the reason why i reclined the client number one why you think the have you asked yourself why the the barber the barber chair recline <laughs> it's for a purpose they didn't do that that just because oh so tito could go to sleep but well, actually actually T <laughs> tito likes it right not tito about to fall asleep yeah he's about to fall asleep so what's that letting you know that's letting you know that Tito, you, you feel more comfortable when I, when I, when I do you beer? Uh, you like it when I recline you more? Yeah, it's chilling, you know? It's more chilling, right? You see what I'm saying? The, the clients feel more chilling, more relaxed. All right, so check it out, right? Now I'm going to put my chest mount. All right? There's always going to be someone... Jeffrey, you talk too much. Jeffrey, you don't talk too much. Jeffrey, you too fast. Jeffrey, you too slow. Whatever flow you, baby. Whatever flow you both, baby. If you're in my channel, thank you. I'm not telling you to be in my channel, but if, hey, you are here. I must be doing something that is pulling your attention to, to this channel, right? So anyway, now we're going to put the chest count so that way you have a different angle. Not like the other videos, boring video. They have one camera and speed it up and put some music and just tell you now pass number one. You want to learn KX5 from everything, even why I'm using it and why not. Dice, hello, Jeffrey. All this right. is Enrique. I hope so you now, are doing okay. I'm let me see. Reply to any of my messages it's still on working. I was excited hello, hello. to talk gotta to wait. you. Gotta wait, gotta wait, gotta wait. What is the name of your barber shirt? And then... Now we in. Then I'm gonna put a little bit of, of brightness right there. And then now I'm gonna put this shaving cream. Well, let me put it right here so you guys can see it much better. All right, this is the shaving cream. Medicated olive oil pre shaving gel mental formula. What it says? Medicated. All right. And this is how it looks. And the way that it looks is also the way that it smells. And the texture, it doesn't dry it up that easy. All right? All right. So look at how nice it is. Live streaming with different camera, different angles. All right? Makes it more interesting. It's, you know, I'm showing you some people, there's some barbers out there. Oh, I could cut hair in 20 minutes. Yeah, because the video, he edited all the parts. He probably took like one hour. And when he cut the video and speeded up the video, he lies to you and said that he did it in, in 20 minutes. But huh, I make a challenge. I make a challenge to do a live streaming to see if he could prove that, you know. But it's he not about who's Ramirez. the fastest. This Dice, is not what this. who's the fastest. It's to do... A good quality job to your client, all right? Make sure quality over quantity. So check it out, right? Let me check that everything is boom, right there, fine. Let me put the exposure down because it's a little bit too bright. I think right there. Normally just right there. There we go. So now, like I say, Different angle, it gave me another different opportunity to shape the box out even much better. 
and most centralized. So that's why back in 18, in the 1830s, the barbers, that's how they used to shave the face to the client. That's how they used to do it. How they used to do it? Recline the client in the barber chair, put the shaving cream. The client is nice, relaxed in the chair, laying down. Uh, but there's some barbers did stay there. They don't recline the client, and that's how they feel comfortable doing it. Well, keep doing it the way you like to do it. But I have people that ask me, oh, I don't know why you recline the client all the time. Now, now you know the reason. All right? So that you don't expiculate and, and tell something that is not to other people about me. All right? So now... Give me another opportunity to keep shaping it even better. You feel me? Look. Look, really outside. Look at how much comfortable he's laying there thinking about probably Tom Brady returning to the Patriots. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about Lamar Jackson. You thinking about the Lamar Jackson? You think that he's come you, you think that he would be, that he would come over here? No, nah, I'm thinking about him. No, right? We, we they, they, they freaking Bill Belichick, man. He don't like to. He wants him, but he's not gonna pay him. Nah, he don't want to pay for him. Unfortunately. <laughs> but yeah, if I was not if I was not doing this live streaming, I'd be probably with Tito talking about sport, about the Patriots, or anything else. That's how we talk. Whatever we do, we talk, right? And um, yeah, that's another thing. There's some clients that don't like to talk. Hey, focus more, much better on to do you, your job, on to cut hair. That will give you more time to focus more on your craft. Now, there's other li clients that like to talk. Don't be, don't be uh, considered. Just talk. You, you don't know if you're going to like the conversation or maybe you guys have a lot of stuff in, in common. And when you talk with that client, sometimes the client, they just come for a haircut. But if you have a good sense of humor and you guys have a lot of stuff in common, it's going to be beneficial for both of you, you know, because you're going to think like, wow, it's such a real guy, nice, nice guy, knows how to cut. And I, I came out stressed with one problem and, and we had a good time laughing and talking about the stuff that we like. Yeah, it's, you're relatable. You know? it, it's relatable. You're like a therapist. You turn into like a, ter not only a barber, but you turn into like a therapist or, or psychiatrist or whatever you call it. You know what I mean? I don't have all the questions. I don't have all the, <laughs> all the, all the answers, you know? So, but anyway, see, you, you see how I'm doing everything? Nice and calm, comfortable as I'm talking, also as I'm doing too. Make sure that as much as you're talking, make sure you are working as much too. But if you're talking too much and not doing, then that's when it's wrong. Remember, this client, they need to, they, they got other stuff than just to be in the barber chair. Notice too, uh, it's gonna dry it up sometimes after a while. So put a little bit more, specifically the way you're gonna shave them and make sure you rub it in really good so that way you can manipulate the hair and the poruses to kind of like uh, loose up, right? On top of it, I'm gonna use a little bit of water. Don't throw the water in his face like that. Put it in your hand and then put it in his face because there's nothing more annoying than when they throw that, that alcohol or that water in your face straight up. It's like, dude. Come on, man. Be a little bit more professional. Another thing, if you know that you're gonna work in an area that is sensitive, switch the blade. It's gonna help you tremendously. All right, hold on. It's gonna, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna help you trust tremendously. Change the blade, all right? So there you have it. Uh, switch the Dice blade. Come on, guys, like the video for the master. All right. Boom, 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 boom. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Sound like uh, hmm. keeps cheap. <laughs> um, so now, look, his hair grows in a certain way, 
And I'm going to go really nice and slow. You guys are seeing that I'm going nice and gentle. I'm stretching the skin. And look at how, when you do, when you put the nice cream to it, when you put the water, when you massage it, what's up, Adrian? Look at how everything show up, really nice. You see, we no need to use no trimmer. I think that should make that challenge. How to do a beer with no, with no, with no trimmer. <laughs> so anyways, check it out, All right? Let me put a little bit, little bit of light here. You mad, Adrian? Huh? You mad? No, Dropping all the, the, the <laughs> and then now we're gonna see little by little. If you're not sure, you could always cut more. So always, you know, switch the blade. Put a little bit more cream, stretch the skin, and then do it little by little. You always could cut more later on. Those are the tools, you know? There's more than just using uh, only the, the hot towel machine. What about if you don't have the hot towel machine? In case if you don't have the hot towel machine, these are the, the steps that you should be using. Now, I'm not telling you that do it like me. I'm just saying if you ask me these are the steps that i will do if i was you but because i don't like to tell people i do it like this you know now i go against it and look at how it's coming baby oof now we're gonna do the eyebrows right i'm gonna shape the eyebrow really outside stretch the skin Right, right there. KX5G9WSL. Dice is the Boom. Streamer Same thing right here. Check. Now we go to the middle. Clean the middle, obviously. Right. The funny thing that this may not be a lot, but how good it is when you see another barber, whether he does, he's worse than you or better than you, when he's doing his job. It's kind of soothing. When I, I even watch my haircut myself after I do the live streaming and I see the pre-recording, and I'm like, oh man, I was passing it then, I was doing that. Look, in areas right here, like like here, I recommend you to start really slow, really like gentle, right? And look, no redness. And then you're gonna go using the corner, this corner of the blade. Right? He liked to do it square in the inside. Jeffrey, how come you didn't do it the two round like an uh, anchor? Because this is the way he likes to do it. Oh, if I was him, but well, that's if you were him, but you're not him. This is Tito, and this is th how Tito liked his haircut. So that's what I'm saying. Stop assuming that you are him or that you are the client. You are the barber, and the client is the client. Stick to your role, you brony. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one, right? <laughs> if you smell <laughs> what Jeffrey is cooking, <laughs> stick to your role, you brony. <laughs> you know, don't assume that that he wants the goatee round all the time. Jeffrey's always cooking in the shop. I'm always cooking on the shop. <laughs> the next recipe. You know what I mean? <laughs> but yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Jeffrey, no se ve, no se ve. Anyway, I'm going to put them up because basically I'm done. So I'm going to take this up. But just because I'm done, that doesn't mean that I'm done completely. I got to do now the final details. Remember, the devil hides on every single little details. So we're going to take them out, out of those places. Notice how I like to work. Everything I like to keep it boom boom organized. All right, now we're gonna put the client up. Let's go up, Tito. Now we're gonna do the final details. Now I'm gonna change the glint again. I'm gonna change it one more time. The blade. I'm gonna put a brand new blade, and then I'm 
right? Now I'm gonna I'm gonna put the volume so I could hear the comments. All right, you guys ask me any question now. All right. Now watch. I'm gonna get the beer more, shape it more, much better. All right. Ask me any question. I could hear the comments. Just ask me any question and I could hear the comments. Go ahead. Ask me any question. No, I haven't cut Tom Brady's hair. <laughs> That's my dream one day. Cut Tom Brady's hair. Okay, bye. Now I'm going to go right here. Right then the corner. Boom. Now I'm going to go to the other side. Boom. Now watch. Get every, every single little detail. Get it real nice and detailed. Get it real nice and printed. Right there. Anthony you see what I'm saying? Dice Tito, seems, Dice Tito like seems like a cool dude. <laughs> Tito seems like a cool dude? Yeah. He is. He's awesome. All my clients are awesome. I say that I build my clientele basically to the, the type of people that I feel like that I could hang out with. So basically all my, my clients, they're good vibe. You know, they, they, they have a good vibe. All right. So right there, and then I'm going to go into the eyebrows TRQ and get them a little bit. Ramirez. Ramirez. Dice the Zergo Dice is the Zergo Zergo is his Mystic Master. Master. Or Mystic Master. Uh, the what? Now my, oh, the ergos. Yeah, the ergos to me are much better. Man, I, that, I gotta change the personality of that computer. It sounds still like a robot. It sounds sound like an like a old computer. So anyway, I'm basically done with the haircut, but just because I'm done, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show the mirror, and I'm gonna show it nice and slow, mm -hmm. so Tito could see the shape up, make sure that he see every angle, all right? Make sure that he see the beard. And I'm gonna ask him, Tito, how's that right there? Good. Jeffrey, what he said? Good. You know what that mean? <laughs> that that's the only opinion that matters. <laughs> I don't care what, if you said that it doesn't look good, or if you have a cousin that could do it better than me, or if you have, or if Tyler Cut or Victorino could cut better than me, Good. Guess what? He's not here making that money. It's me. And he's the one that likes it. So as long as he likes it, I don't care what anybody else says. Dice Jeffrey, can Dice you Jeffrey, can you tell you the name of the barber shirt you wear? Uh, I'll, tell you in a I'll tell you when I finish this client right now. Let me just finish this client. I think it's... Uh, Barber Susan or something like that. I just have to double check. Hold on. TRQ Adon Ramirez. Dice for me is the best master. KX5 J9 WSL. Dice, I want to get a barber shirt like that. Oh, you want to get a barber shirt like that? Yeah, hold on a second. Let me let me double check. I'll tell you right now. The barber the barber sir is called how you will say that? Break MC Brickman. Brickman? Yeah. I'm gonna put it right there. Make sure you pull pause or you could always rewind it. You can see it. Hold on a second. Open your eyes. Hold on. Hold on. Chill, chill, chill. Hold on. No, Jeffrey to the other side. I know. Hold on a second, dude. Nobody is saying nothing, Jeff. There it is. That's the, that's the name brand. Put it in pause. Can you see it? Oh, shit. Hold on. There we go. Hold on. Hold on. Yep. Right there. Can you see it? Right there. Can you see it? Tilt it more. Right there. No. To the middle. Put it back. There we go. Can you see it? What size? 
I don't know, extra large? <laughs> Jeffrey, nobody says nothing. I was doing like if someone was asking me, the third person kind of like supposing, just in case. All right, dude, it's your boy Jeff, the master barber. Don't forget if you made it up to here, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to like. If you didn't like it, you could give thumbs down too. It will help me anyway, because that will let the Ramirez. Ramirez. Dice thanks for Dice enhance. thanks hold hands. Tito, thank you for letting me record. No problem, man. I appreciate it. And oh hey, everybody, make sure you give a, a thanks to Tito for letting me record. No, everybody likes to let me record him. So uh make sure you say thank you to Tito for letting me record him. Yeah. Alright, so yeah, if you made it to this point. Don't forget to subscribe, give it thumbs down. If you don't like it, you could give thumbs down. That will help in the algorithm. If you like to hate and you don't want to help me and no support, just don't, don't do nothing. Then it let me know that you're not here. But if you even put the thumbs down, I will even love that because that will help the al algorithm. And be like, yeah, even there was a hater there that put thumbs down, that's actually good. This, uh, your channel is the best, even when they give thumbs down. 